365 days, 365 messages God has in store for you each day. No Fears, written by Vanessa Pizzito. Welcome and happy week to you. Thank you for taking the time to join us today, October 23rd, 2022. Today's devotional is titled, The Same Comfort. Please join me in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for your peace. Thank you for your grace. We do not deserve it, but yet you still provide it. Thank you, Father, for this day. Bless us today and always. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today's Bible text is found in John chapter 4, verses 28 and 29, and it reads, The woman then left her water pot, went her way into the city, and said to the men, Come, see a man who told me all things that I ever did. Could this be the Christ? You are better positioned to serve the kind of person you used to be. My friend Kyle posted this phrase on social media and left me thinking. Perhaps in order to discover our mission in life, we must consider the tendencies and habits that God rescued us from and the person we used to be. In his article, What Has God Delivered You From?, Christian author Graham Cook reflected. If you don't know what your calling is, examine your testimony. Your testimony automatically gives you authority to help free others in that same area. Why? Because God has liberated you and that freedom is contagious. The problem is that we often don't want to share our real testimony but an edited version that makes us look like super Christians. The Samaritan woman Jesus found by the well had an embarrassing past. She had had five husbands, and the man she lived with when Jesus spoke to her was not her husband. However, as soon as she suspected the true identity of Jesus, she ran to the city and said to all those she found along the way, Come, see a man who told me all things that I ever did. Could this be the Christ? John 4, verse 29. Her testimony was powerful precisely because everyone knew about her past. I don't think we should shout all our secrets from the housetops to preach the gospel. But our most powerful testimony lies in our redeemed weaknesses, not our strengths. The Bible says, He comforts us in all our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort those who are in any trouble with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. 2 Corinthians 1 verse 4. We offer others the same comfort we receive the same freedom. Our experience is transformed into a map that guides others, into a reason for hope. Did God free you from a tendency to criticize, from anxiety or worry? Then you are specially positioned and prepared to help other people who suffer from this. I invite you, humbly, to ask God how He wants to use your redeemed weaknesses. Let us pray. Lord, I tend to hide my weaknesses and proclaim my strengths. Nevertheless, please give me the humility to proclaim your strength in my weakness. Show me how I can bless other women through a sincere testimony. Amen.